Friday, May 30th of 2008, marked an exciting evening in Toronto as the Toronto Criterium brought bike racing back to the city's downtown core after a 17-year hiatus. Many of Canada's top cyclists descended on the St. Lawrence Market to put on a show of determination and speed for thousands of cheering spectators who came out to watch the excitement in spite of the chilly and damp weather. Heard about it on the radio, heard about it on the web. Uh, great to see cycling back in Toronto downtown. This is awesome. We should have more of it. It's a great thing and there's like a huge crowd here for kind of a nasty evening. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think it's been a successful uh, event. The early race included the women, Master 2 3 men, Elite 3 4, and junior racers, featuring plenty of solo attacks that were all reeled in by a hungry pack. After flurries of attacks for most of the race, the pack settled in for some quiet yet nervous final laps before winding up for a sprint finish. David Fry, an independent from Scarborough, took the sprint decisively, with Brian Spiegel of Silent Sport and Doug Corner of Bike Race Ottawa finishing second and third. The marquee event of the evening saw 200 riders hit the start line. Action in the Pro 1-2 and Master 1 race hit a frenzied high right from the gun, with Peter Morse of Jet Fuel Coffee making an assertive solo attack on lap 1. The attack was reeled in without delay by a ravenous pack, and a decisive counterattack was launched by Andrew Pinfold of the Symmetrics Pro Cycling Team and Dustin McBurney from Team Race Pro. This move proved to be the winning move of the day, as they lapped the field after only 35 minutes. After McBurney and Pinfold were integrated into the pack, a number of riders took turns attacking the group. This kept the peloton on their toes and the excitement in the crowd. The final group to form was made up of Mark Walters from Team Race Pro, Eric Wahlberg of Symmetrics, and Derek St. John of Jet Fuel Coffee, and was later joined by Kevin Buck Miller of Team Race Pro, Wahlberg managed to ride away from the breakaway, which was then caught by the group. With the skies darkening into evening and the 90-minute mark approaching, a surprise loose change preem was announced with two laps to go, and the race leaders faced two consecutive sprints. Pinfold, known for his sprinting ability, took both, claiming the big prize of the evening and winning the 2008 Toronto Criterium. Wahlberg, his teammate, took third, and it was a symmetric yellow sweep as Zach Bell took fourth place, with the current Ontario road champ, Andrew Randall, taking fifth. Well, I mean, it went about as good as we could have hoped for. Uh, you know, having four four guys or whatever in the top five, uh, it was it was good. You know, uh, uh, that move that went away just made things easy for us. Me and uh, Andrew Randall just had to control control things in the field, and the easiest way to do that is to just set your own tempo. So it was a safe course. It was a good course, and I like the long, powerful straightaways, so especially with the little kick right at the end. In the end of the last corner, it kind of slows guys down. So for the bunch sprint from the group there, it was it was perfect for me. A sport like cycling needs a spectacle and a star system, and we felt that we had to put on a major race here. Some people said, do it a Sunday morning, and I said, well, nobody comes out on Sunday morning, so let's do it right in the heart of the city. The idea is to have a huge kind of race to put cycling in the consciousness of the public. We had about 8,500 people was our last crowd count. I would be surprised because the weather was wishy-washy, which, you know, the people show up and the crowd was okay, and that first time for after 15 or 17 years, I think it was all good. Well, you know, it's one thing putting on a race from an organizational standpoint, and the other part of it is getting the 35 city departments all organized. Can we close down six major blocks of Toronto in rush hour just to make sure that uh, we could put on this race? Even when the rain came down, the public hung in there right to the bitter end. The cyclists said it was one of the best run races they've had. We had cycling teams from Vancouver, California, Rochester, and they said they're going to be back here next year. I'm always a proponent of saying, hey, we need one of these in every city, you know. We've got a gas town in Vancouver, this out here now, you know, you need something like this in Calgary and the other cities across the country. It's just good for Canadian cycling, you know. we got the base of pro teams now in Canada that we can run events like this, so promoters should be taking advantage of that. Well, in fact, we have an announcement happening in London, England between September 16th and September 22nd. We're going to be announcing the global version of the Criterium for 2009. I uh, hope we get going more. We need more races. Well, I hope we get better next time. And so far, so good. Let's work together.